Quotes from, F. W. Krumacher. From the Kindle, Deep Christian Quotes and Bible Verses. First quote. There is a free grace of God, which without any respect of persons, can save to the uttermost, and pardon sins of the deepest dye. We speak to all sinners. To old sinners, to young sinners, to adulterers, thieves, murderers, slanderers, blasphemers, the voluptuary, the deceiver, and the Sabbath breaker. However deformed, and soiled by sin, though they may deserve eternal condemnation a thousandfold, we call to you aloud. Our heart impressed with the sincerest love for your souls. You may now be delivered from all your guilt. Yes, even today, you may gain justification of life in Jesus Christ. Second quote. You need bring nothing of your own. You can be cured permanently and gratuitously, of all your own sins and misdeeds, Jesus will absolve you from all, and give you forgiveness of sins, a new birth, faith, sanctification, safety and glorification. He will save you, convert, justify, favor, and bless you. Yes, He will dwell in you, and walk in you, and you shall be in Him, what He was, and is, the Holy, and Beloved One of God. Third quote, This abuse of the doctrine of the free grace of God, in Christ Jesus, is very easy. Is it truly thus? If I am in danger of sinking in a deep and muddy stream, and a compassionate Savior throws Himself into the water, and rescues me at the hazard of his own life, should I forget my preserver, and his deed of love, and throw myself afresh into the stream, the depths of which threaten to destroy me? Should I not rather, all my life long, be eager to testify my gratitude to my faithful benefactor? Should I not anxiously avoid the dark stream and its frightful depths, and sincerely hate and abhor it? Fourth quote. Men talk about free grace without having the slightest acquaintance with it from personal experience. Instead of living in the element of grace, they have nothing but a mere head knowledge, or a superficial perception of it, in their hearts, a complete break with the world, the flesh, and the devil, has not yet taken place. The conscience sleeps the sleep of death, and Christ is regarded as a mere substitute, whom, the sinner thinks will make up the deficiency of his own fancied merit. Thus the abuse of this doctrine becomes very easy. Thanks.